I know the good Lord watches over me. Yes, sir, I don't deserve his mercy, but I think he has a plan for me. And even if one person listens to what I have to say, well, then I have done my job. Y'all remember that the meek shall inherit the earth. Hey, another long night of studying? Yeah, I'm pretty sure my professors forgot I've got other classes and a life going on. This chemistry is kicking my ass. Do you need anything else? Just my tab. Sure thing. Cigarettes off you. No, but you can have one. <clears throat> I'm much obliged to you. I'll bother you for a light. Just smoking. I'm Larry Stevens. Sydney, what? It's a pleasure to meet you, Sydney. Are you from around here? California originally, but I live out near Roy now. How about you? Oh, I was born and raised in Kentucky. Yeah, I even get a bit of whiskey from my daddy back home. Every now and then, praise the Lord. So why leave Kentucky? Oh, well, I had to. If you don't mind, I'd actually rather not talk about that. No problem. Nights are certainly getting colder, aren't they? Last night I was sleeping on the overpass over there, or under it. Woke up with a sheet of ice on my sleeping bag. <laughs> I walk all the way down here, get a cup of coffee, warm up. Wouldn't you know it, all my stuff was gone when I got back. I mean, it wasn't much, but it was my stuff, nonetheless. You know, the Lord does provide. He does. He provides for me all the time. You see that gas station over there? I was telling my story over there. A young soldier gave me $20 for sleeping bag. He probably didn't even have enough for his own gas then. The Lord saw fit to have him help me out. Thank you, 
again. No problem. For an equal trade for this, how about I give you a joke? Okay. Why did the chicken cross the road? No? Because the bum that's on the other side looked fatter. <laughs> <laughs> little boy in the whole world. He would have been about your age by now. His name was Gregory. <laughs> when those two smiled, it was the prettiest thing you ever saw. Son of a bitch. Decided to drive home drunk from a party. And he hit the car. With my wife. Where my baby boy was in. Lord saw fit to take them from me that night. That old boy did some time for what he'd done. That wasn't enough for me. So I waited for him to come out. Truth be told, I would have waited forever. One day I found that son of a bitch. But I heard him a lot worse. All the things I've done. You can guess what I've done. You know, Sydney, not a day goes by that I don't pray to God for forgiveness. Just so that I can be with them again in heaven one day. I'm sorry. Do you have wife and kids? No, I don't. You will. Someday. Someday you will. And when you do, don't ever stop holding them. Stop holding them. Well, uh, now I have a couple extra bucks. I think I'm gonna go and take a movie at the theater, get warm before I find a place to, well, I'll find my bed. You go to the show with me. I can't. I've got a lot of homework. But you go. On my dime. That's very kind of you. But I didn't ask you for money. I know. That's why I'm giving it to you. Go and enjoy the movie. Enjoy it for me. that I would need to bum for money and cigarettes to survive. I 
you're young. But don't worry so much about the future that you lose track of what's right in front of you. Because all this material stuff, it don't matter. Don't realize the blessings you have right in front of you. What's really important in life isn't all this material stuff. It's something so much deeper than that. It's something you didn't even know that you were looking for. You know, you look around every day, but you miss out on the beauty of the world because you don't even see what is right in front of you. Mm -hmm. 